Hey guys, welcome back. Oh wait. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be making that jetpack that you've seen on my back, and we're also going to be fighting the inner dragon. So, I hope you guys are ready. So today we're going to go ahead and try to get ourselves to the end. Now, I have done quite a bit off camera here. So, I ended up making the grass platform around here, trying to get mobs to spawn. Uh, so while I've been doing certain things like over in this area, it's allowed for mobs to start spawning. And they've sort of just been moving along happily, kind of doing their own thing. Now i got animals all over the place, which is hilarious. But anyways, let's take a look at uh, some of the things that I've been working on. Uh, I've got tons of quests here. 37 different quests that need to be claimed. And they're just stuff that we've done that I've had the items for. Like, I still haven't claimed a few of the food items that we do have. But I went ahead and got most of these things done. Um, almost all the chicken stuff I went ahead and made. I went ahead and made some of the stuff that we'll probably never use, like the nesting pen stuff from Hatchery. We might get into the shredder. That might be something we ended up doing, because that's something totally different, uh, which gets us liquid fertilizer and stuff like that. But if we move along, and yeah, this gets us a chest. Uh, but if we move along, we can see I went ahead and did all the refined storage stuff. Now, I wanted to talk a little bit about refined storage here for a second, because the cutting tool, as I noticed when I went to complete this quest and complete all these other parts, is... Refined storage has changed. If you do this. Refined storage no longer even uses this tool. If you go to uses, you can see there's no uses for it. That's because the process binding is now how you actually make it. So they, they went to an item that allows the uh, that allows you to actually make these uh, in, these processors for this mod. So this mod is changing. This mod is evolving. It has changed a lot just in the past few months. So... Uh, I don't know what's to come. I don't know if this is even going to be permanent, but yeah, this processing binding requires slime and string That has changed so it makes it even easier in my opinion uh, Because this had a durability whereas this is a single item. So it makes automation for this a lot easier um, I, I honestly I miss the the old, you know solderer. I do I miss the solderer it made it more like um, AE2 with uh, with still the changes that it had but anyways I digress. Let's get back into here. So I went ahead and completed those. Uh, the reason I wanted to do that is because this gives us a $100 bill for that. Gives us some good money uh, for those quests. Also, I completed the mob quest. We will be getting into Woot. We'll have to. Uh, we'll do that eventually. The reason I say we have to is because I want to get the rainbow generator automated, fully automated, and uh, constantly running. And then we also have um, Octuple Cobblestone that I ended up making. You can do that in your EMC tablet. I went ahead and skipped showing you that because it's just repetitive and I'm now using this because this honestly is the biggest storage block I have right now for EMC so it is just storing EMC and of course it's pulling from here also I did manage to get a manulin chicken uh, cobalt and aridite chicken also draconium which I mentioned last time and awakened draconium all right here so there's the awakened draconium and the draconium chickens also got those all the way up to 10 10 tens for both of those so if we need those, we can also use those chickens. Um, I do have them stored in my EMC tablet. I still need to work on getting the quest for this done. So that's something we'll have to start with eventually. Also went ahead and finished off this. It was kind of funny that the fortune add-on is down here. I didn't even notice that. Uh, but we went that route anyways with the fortune add-on, uh, even though it was here, which is really cool. So I was able to complete that and the slime. We still have some other blocks to complete here. A lot of these just give you $1. Not a lot of this gives you too much. Uh, this down here gives you like 20 so these, uh, there's not too much here other than like stuff like this, which is the rainbow stone, which we'll definitely be getting into. And these two things that give you some pretty good money. This gives you some pretty good money. I, of course, I done all the flux stuff. So I think I have just about everything claimed that I've made thus far that can be claimed. So I think I have an empty inventory for the most part. So let's go ahead and claim all of our rewards and let's see how much we ended up getting. So we ended up getting some spikes. Legendary loot crate and also an epic loot crate. Let's go ahead and open those. There's a legendary and there's our epic. We ended up getting the vi vibrant. Okay, we ended up getting these. So we can actually claim that. Get us another 20, 20 in our, our pocket. Uh, but that was eight vibrant cells that, that produce 160 RF per tick um, during the sunlight. And it looks like we got some uh, some cable as well for refined storage. None of which we really need too much of, um, nor do we need the spikes. But the money is something that I definitely want. So I'm going to take all this, throw it in my 
my money bag. And we're up to $876. We are almost hitting that $1,000 mark in which we can actually spend money to make money. All right. Well, today, we need to go to the end. We need to fight the dragon. And I want to get that done. Now, I don't have flight. And from what I've been told, it is a solid ground. I do kind of have flight. I mean, I have uh, an elytra on. So I do have like a special elytra that is on my armor. But other than that, I don't really have any like special flight or anything like that. So uh, maybe getting an emergency jet pack would be something we could do today. Um, and if we take a look, we do have jet packs right here. Um, so we do have like getting towards the vibrant jet pack. We do have an electric jet pack, which is one of the, the early ones you can get. Um, and you can see we do get some stuff for that. Or we can go to with the Swift Wolf's Rending Gale, um, which I don't know how expensive that is. And I think that runs on EMC. That's at Project E. And the Swift Wolf Rending Gale, yeah, requires vibrant thrusters, um, which we technically can make. Um, I think I have everything for this. Really, I, I honestly do. <laughs> I can make this gal. I can make this thing. Um, we need an iron ring, which just requires that. Guys, I think we can make this. Um, don't I have? I'm pretty sure I have all of that stuff on me. But anyways, I, I think I'm better off making the jetpack, though, because we are going to have to get these chests done anyways, or things done anyways. So we have the Vibrant Jetpack, which is the Ender I.O. route, which I think will be the best because I've already done the Ender I.O. Um, Ender I.O. is a little bit different than the Reinforced. You have one, which is thermal, the Thermal route. You have the Thermal route for simple jetpacks, and you have the um, uh, Ender I.O. route. So I think Ender I.O. is probably going to be the best option for us. So let's see, we go all the way up into here. Let's see, resonant, and here is the Ender-IO ones. So electrical still is probably gonna be the, the first tier that we need to do. Now this requires casings, right? Let me go back and see. This requires the industrial machine chassis. And which I'm gonna need more of that powder. Industrial machines, so simple machines and industrial dye blend. So I'll grab some industrial dye blends and some chassis, chassis. And we'll get those cooked up. We're gonna need a bunch of those. Make sure we're in alloy mode. And that should start processing our industrial machines. All we really need is the first tier jetpack, I think. Um, so just getting the electrical steel here is something that we're definitely gonna need. And, oh, we needed the conductive, but even before that. So let's just make the conductive one. Leather strap. And we'll get a conductive jetpack. That's pretty simple. And that guy's already going to charge. And I think we have everything already for this. So that's the electrical steel jetpack. Um, and that moves up into the energetic, which that's going to require some pulsating crystals, which I, I think I have the ability to make pulsating crystals. Yeah. Um, I just need some pulsating iron nuggets. And we should be able to make that pretty quick. All of this can be made fairly quick. And I think we need four of those for each of the uh, jetpacks there. Also, the double layer capacitors. We need four of those. Or five of those, I guess. And then we're missing... The conduits. All of which are pretty simple for us to get. Another another double layer capacitor is what I need. And voila, we have an energetic jetpack. Now, these are just the top tier jetpacks, right? Yes. So to get the vibrant one, we need vibrant crystals. And I think we have that. I think that's like super simple for us to get right at this point. Yeah, um, even the conduits, we can just make some of those real quick. Um, and I'm pretty sure we have the octatic. If not, I'm gonna grab some. And we'll just put this together. 
All right, so we're going to need four of those. And just a few of that. And we have some thrusters. And then we have a vibrant jetpack. All right, vibrant jetpack. We need it drained. We need no, <laughs> we need it empty. Um, is this EMC able? Uh, no. So because it did fuel up, we can't actually claim it, unfortunately. Unless we need the electric jetpack first. I think we need the electric one first. Which is kind of a bummer. Because I think that's IC2, right? The, actually, no. The electric jetpack, yeah, it's IC2. So yeah, in order for us to even use that, it, it requires us to do that. So we can take our armor off and boy oh boy do we fly pretty fast. Now there's something that I want to do. Let's go to hover. Hover mode, we'll set that to button five. And then we'll pull up the key for button five. Button five, we'll change, we'll reset those. There we go. So, hover mode enabled. Now we can actually hover. And power wise, we'll be charged up by our controller. So, I think we're good. I think we're ready to fight this dragon very soon. So, with that being done, unfortunately, we don't have too much armor on there. So, what we can do, I think, is apply some uh, dark steel to this. We need electrical steel plating, all these different things to work our way up. So there's that, and then we need 10 conductive iron. 10 conductive. Uh, probably some dark steel, 10 of those, I bet. Energetic. Right? Oh, maybe not. Maybe I'm overlooking it. Electrical steel. Okay. So we have everything we need, and then dark. And then I think that's it for that. Perfect. That should be enough, and we should be able to plate that up. And that'll give us some dark steel protection. There's that. And dark steel. Now, it's not the greatest in the world, but it will get the job done. And I think we apply that above it. Yes. And then also we can make this particle, <laughs> the rainbow particles, which is honestly my favorite. So let's go ahead and do that as well. Let's make the rainbow particles. And you take this and place it underneath it. And that gives you the rainbow particle effect. And yeah, this is supposed to look like dark steel, but I don't know. It gets the job done. <laughs> It'll work. We are mis a mismatch, but that's okay. Um, so with all that being done, um, we should be ready to make this cake. So in order to get to the end, it's going to take a little bit of work to get there, right? Let's take a look at cake. Now in cake is what we're going to need. And it it's going to require some eyes of ender and it's going to require cake itself. Now I want to make the cake base, which is an egg and flour. So I think we have flour or not flour. Wheat and eggs. Just your normal egg. So let's head over here. Whoa, I'm not used to this jetpack being so fast. Um, so let's grind some of the flour up. Awesome, and we'll alloy that with eggs to get cake bases. And cake bases are actually inside the food section, and we can claim the cake base. Now, I want to make a cake using the cake base, so we're going to need some buckets. And let's grab some milk. We have a couple of cows over here, willing and ready. And I'll save one of these buckets to my EMC table. And let's hop on over here. And let's see if we can't make cake using Ender.io, like this, cake and sugar. There we go. And there's our first cake. And that's awesome. 
And uh, we can actually save the cake. There we go. Now we need to work on making the end cake. So I got a couple dollars from this. Now the end cake, it's a little bit different. A little bit fancier. Um, and it's going to require some eyes of ender. And it's a good thing that we uh, we saved cake in here. Because that actually did consume our cake. And uh, we need some end crystals. And voila, we get an end cake. How cool is that? So we'll save that. Let's pocket our money. Drop our cake base in here. We are going to need some end crystals because I am on a server. Um, so it only makes sense. Uh, people have fought the end dragons. So that only makes sense there. Um, but when we place this, it, uh, oh, I guess it is full. So if it's not full, you would use Eyes of Ender to replenish it. But at this point, it looks like it's full. So let's get, let's see, golden carrots for food. And then I think we're ready to fight this guy. We have some pretty decent weapons. The bow in particular is really good. The sword is, eh, it's okay. I mean, it's it's as good as it can get. Uh, there's really not that much I can do to it. I can give it travel, but other than that, it's not really worth it. Now, what you need to do with this is eat some. And that's going to take us to the end. So, hopefully there's a platform here. We do have our EMC tablet on us. So, if we need to build something, we can. Um, we do have flight. Okay, so it looks like somebody has built a little bit of something here, which is good. Let's enable our jetpack, and let's see, is this staying powered? Okay, so no, it is It is running out of power, which is understandable. Look how many Endermen are, have spawned here. And let's try not to look at them. All right, and we need, ooh, what is this? Oh, somebody's already got a system ready to go, which is really nice. There's the dragon egg. <laughs> Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and respawn them using our end crystals. And then we can get the real fight going. All right. And voila. We're going to spawning. Look at all the uh, crystals. Look at how many times the dragon has actually been fought on here. Quite a bit. And all of these are going to start generating. Oh yeah, we better get ready because we're going to have to start taking these out one by one. And hopefully our armor will hold up. Our armor should hold up. And here he comes. <laughs> oh boy. And you know what we need is bottles. I almost forgot to grab some bottles. Yeah, and he does do some pretty, pretty good damage. Even with our armor that we have on. We don't have the best armor in the world. Yeah, and we don't want to take them out right away. Let's come down here. Let's grab some of this. I will take a bunch of that halitosis. Thank you. I'm trying to grab halitosis here. Ow. That really hurt. Let me grab some more of that. <laughs> Alright, so that stuff that stuff's gone now. Um How much did I get of that? 29 bottles? Wow, that's really good actually. Should be able to take all those out. Alright, and we're left with these. And shabam, that one's gone. And bam, that one's gone. So, dragon, it's just you and me now. What you gonna do about it? What you gonna do? What you gonna do, Mr. Dragon? You gonna come for me? what I thought. You actually are. 
and I'm gonna take all of that. Grab some ender air. I'm gonna grab not ender air. Let me grab. Why can't I grab that? Ow. Oh, he is so bad about that. Knocking people around like he owns the place or something. Take care of him. Now this sword is not that powerful, nor is this. I mean, the sword's a little bit more powerful than everything else, but the big thing is getting these arrows in on them. Because these are some really nice arrows, actually. Now did that... that didn't go anywhere, did it? Oh, that's funny. It actually hit him, even though it bounced off. And he's almost dead. I'm going to go ahead and wall it away. <laughs> and that's all gone. Now watch. Now watch. Okay, so if I hit him from the top like this... It looked like it would have hit him. But, we've got him. We've got him down. Alright, before this portal spawns... <laughs> we better get that. Well, let's see, can I grab the last bit of this? No. He is all gone now. And I love how they already have a little thing set up to pop the, the inner dragon whenever it spawns. And we got our everything we needed. All right, get out of here, Enderman. Uh, except for he just he kind of destroyed this, so I don't know. We already have our dragon egg, so we're good. I'm gonna leave that for the next person. And time to go back through. Well, guys, we've beaten the game. Not exactly. But we kind of have. <laughs> so, as always, in screen, let's go ahead and jump back home. And uh, now that we have that, we have the ability to make Awakened Draconium. It did take us... Oh, I haven't actually got to see Spawn. So that's going to be kind of interesting to see. We do have this, like, platform that they've built. I think, like, tr linking people's bases together. Like, look at this. This is actually really cool that people have put together and built this. Like, this is really nice, actually. I think they've built around the protection, basically. But, I mean, this is really cool. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. It's really nice. Oh, my. They did. Chosen Arch Architect Jigsaw Puzzle. Wow. It's actually really good. It's really cool. <laughs> Thank you, Double Man. That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh man, you guys are you guys are incredible. Um, and then what do we have over here? More chisel and bit statues of people. Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> this is some cool stuff though. I mean, the chisel and bits art for characters, like, that's really good. I really like that. And then, of course, we have, like, a road that links over here. I think they were working on making roads to allow people to go back and forth. Yeah, pretty cool. We'll head back home. And we're back at base, like we were before. Ready, ready to uh, to have more fun, right? 
So we got an Epic Shader. We ended up getting an Infinity Booster card. Um, we got a couple of loot bags. I might as well grab those. The main thing, all that Dragon's Breath, 49 bottles of it, and a Dragon's Egg. Oh, man, that's some good stuff. Um, we ended up getting some stuff in a loot bag. Nothing real fancy there. Um, but the Dragon Hearts are EMCable. Wow. That's kind of crazy. I didn't actually think that would be EMCable, but it is. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Wow. Um, so I have big plans, uh, for the future. One with that halitosis that we got, uh, we'll be able to power stuff for quite a while, but I want a way of automating the halitosis and which we are going to get for sure. Um, and we have a few more quest lines to go through. Of course, there's Thomcraft in here. I really want to try out Thomcraft a little bit more, and I want to get into some more Project E and uh, see how that will go. Um, of course, and we have uh, Blood Magic. I don't think I'm going to get into Blood Magic too much. I have done Blood Magic a lot, and we we might... I don't know. We'll see how this goes. I plan on hopefully keeping this series going as, as long as I can, because there's a lot of stuff in here that I would like to cover and go over. And there's so many creative ways that I can do it because I have pretty much unlimited resources. It is similar to being in creative mode, but it's not. It's not in the, it's just, it's different. So, uh, but there's a lot of different creative stuff that I can try out and uh, also use this pack to experiment with. It's really fun. I'm having a lot of fun with this. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode, Fighting the Dragon, and of course, having out with, uh, with some of the cake making mechanics and stuff like that. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, don't forget to click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And also give this video a thumbs up, guys. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. And as always, thanks for watching.